Hi there, welcome back. This tutorial is actually the continuation of the previous lecture uh, about inputting the data from the user. Um, it basically, uh, if you haven't watched the, the previous tutorial, I would recommend that you watch that one first. Uh, uh, the link of the tutorial is on the screen. Uh, in addition to that, there is a, an entire playlist of, uh, of all the tutorials in this series. Um, I would recommend that you basically watch all of them. Um, anyway, let's continue. So we were basically learning how to input the information uh, from the user and then process it. So what we did here was um, we declared three variables x, y, and z, all of them integer type, and we we printed this message out to make it more user friendly, so that you know we just we just don't. Um, uh, before we expect the user to enter, we tell the user that okay, you, that's what you have to do. You have to enter the value of x. So we display this message. This message gets printed as is. And notice that there is no format specifier here. You know, no percent sign or anything. So that's why basically it's gonna be printed as is, and there is no variable here because you know we are not trying to print any va value of any variable uh if we were we would have specified the pers the format specifier here to basically t uh show where show tell the compiler where to basically output that the value of that message uh, of that variable anyway then basically here after that we do a scanf which basically allows us to input the value and then percent d basically shows that we are expecting an integer value here we do the same thing with the with the y uh, and then we uh the input we ask to in input the value of y and then we add these two number and store it in z and then we print out by substituting the format specifiers with these variables x y and z here here and here the sum of x whatever the user entered and y whatever the user enter is and the sum of these two because we computed that sum right here so this is how you basically input the integers now the question is how do you input the um uh like uh, a character for example so let's let's do that um c h r c and then we say okay scan f scan f percent C this time because we are basically trying to input the character so the character format specifier is percent C and then we don't write just the va the variable name here C as we do as we do for printf what we do is we basically write an ampersand before it and what it does is basically tells the compiler it gives the address of the compiler uh, of the of this variable c so the comp what compiler does is basically substitutes it with the address of the variable c so the address of variable c is basically uh, the place in the memory where the variable c lives you know so anything that that that's for that's supposed to be assigned to variable c it needs to be written to that memory location where this where the variable c lives so we have to provide the address of it so it's very important that you use percent sign and that the m percent sign here uh, uh, whenever uh, with the scanf you know for all the integers and character type variables and then what we do is we print a message here you entered followed by the value of whatever is was entered backslash n which basically takes the cursor to the next line it's always a good idea to basically put the backslash n at uh, at the end of the message unless you want to the next message to be printed on the same line in this program there is no next message so it doesn't matter but it's a good practice to basically do that uh, and then we put the value of uh, the variable c so don't confuse this c with this c this these are two different so suppose if i if i if i na change the name of this variable to d so what I'm gonna go D. This doesn't change. It stays the same. Percent C basically says the character format specify. So it doesn't change. So here it doesn't change, but here it's gonna change. And let's check it out what it says. Tada! So see what it's doing. It's basically expecting. It's basically expecting a variable, uh, an input. 
for the value of d okay so and this time it has to be a character anything you know character could be a b c x y z and even one two three also but they are characters they are gonna be characters here so i write c and then press enter and then it says you entered c so you see whatever we entered it got it got displayed here but the, the thing is that how, see how how um uh, quiet it was in the beginning the user won't know doesn't even know what it is expecting so let's print us a message before we ask the user to input you know before we expect the user to input let's see enter a character okay and then we say we we expect the web user to enter a variable uh, a value uh, any any character and then we print that value out so let's see how this looks like uh, it says see how it says enter a character and then it stops here waits for a character we enter a character z and then it says you entered and it substitutes the va this value with the value of uh, substitutes this format specify with the value of d so very simple so you can basically input anything you want like this okay now here's something really cool the character type data uh, variables you could basically treat them as numbers also just like at the time of printing you can basically even at the time of inputting you can treat them as numbers so what's the format specified for integers you basically do percent d again don't 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 confuse this d with this d they are two different so let's change this to x character x and we print it as d okay now let's see what happens so i think the program is still running uh here okay it says enter a character well we should have changed that now now you should have we should have said uh, enter a number but yeah, anyway so here no i'll enter 20 and then it says you enter 20 see it changed it to the numbers number because we said okay treat this value of x as number so what's the difference between using character as integers and using an uh, something which is declared as int the main difference is the size the um, the maximum number that you can store and the thing is that with a, with characters it's actually just one byte only one byte long and if you remember the my previous lecture when we were talking about binary number system if you haven't watched that i would recommend that you watch it in that number and in, in that lecture i told you that everything gets represented as numbers in the computer and characters like a b c d they are also represented as numbers and all they need is one byte of space one byte in that lecture i told you that it was eight bits and the maximum number that you can write in eight bits is actually 255 the minimum is zero so the the maximum value of x that you can have is 255 if that's enough for you you declare x as a character if that's not enough for you you declare x as integer or that variable as integer because that will allow you to store big numbers uh, an integer can basically take as big of a number as 35000 plus and minus both minus 35000 and plus 35000 and actually here i said it a little bit wrong uh, x can take a maximum of total number of values that x can take is actually 256 uh, but the range is actually minus 127 to plus sorry minus 128 to plus 127 that's the maximum numbers that you can write okay the time is up uh, we will continue with our lectures i would highly recommend that you uh, let, that you watch all the previous lectures as well as uh, all the future le lectures so thank you very much for watching this tutorial